sales phase is the last phase of the program before the actual rebuilding on sites can, can commence. When the program was announced in October, the government's advice was to vacate the houses immediately. It was always the intention that then the government would work through a program of demolitions that would culminate in the stage that we're now reaching, which is the sale of remediated blocks either to the original owners under the first right of refusal arrangements or indeed to the public through an auction process. The Land Development Agency has considerable experience in the setting of values for auctions for both uh, commercial sales and also residential land sales. So the government has, uh, has asked the Land Development Agency to utilise that expertise uh, and assist in setting the values for the auctions. We've been working with the LDA for some time, both in terms of the scheduling of the work as well as designing this stage of the program. We're relying on them to exercise their judgement and expertise in determining the sales price and we'll continue to work with them on the marketing of the blocks for public auction. The first right of refusal process will be handled by the task force with the original owners. The blocks are valued by the Land Development Agency seeking independent valuations from suitably qualified people. Uh, we seek two valuations in the first instance and those valuations are quite detailed and look at a range of factors including block size, uh, it looks at uh, the location uh, of the, the land, it looks at previous sales and on that basis we then uh, use that information to set the value or the reserve price for the auction. The first auctions are uh, due to occur in April uh, of this year and then following from that uh, we expect that there will be fairly regular auctions given the, the volume of uh, blocks that do need to be sold under, the, under this program. For more information on the auctions uh, you can go to the Land Development Agency's website which is www.lda.act.gov.au The advice in October 2014 was to vacate all of the affected houses immediately and so the first right of refusal was designed to allow the former owners the opportunity to reacquire their remediated blocks and, and return to their neighbourhoods after that work had been completed, but importantly without having to compete with others through a public auction process. For the demolition scheduling we have a conversation with the owners about timing and provide to them the offer to sell which has been determined by the LDA and I think it's important to keep in mind in that context that that price we will not then sell the block for less than that at the public auction so if the owner chooses not to take up the first right it goes through to the public auction process but at a price not less than the first right price that we've offered. Sales are important because they're really the last step before we can see the beginning of the, the physical and psychological and social rebuilding that will come as the homes are rebuilt on the remediated blocks. It's important to the former owners who are keen to return to their neighbourhoods. It's also very important to the overall position of the Territory because of course we've expended now more than $750 million in acquiring the affected houses and demolishing them and so the sales phase was always a key part of defraying the overall cost of the scheme recognising that at the end of the day we're still talking about a net cost to the Territory of around $400 million.